Chris. All right, so as my move action, I'm going to stand up. Okay. And then I'm going to use Arousing Assault on Orc Bloodjammer 1. AC-15 is a miss. Oh wait, sorry. I keep I keep reading that 20 wrong. AC, 20 versus AC. 20 yeah. hits, 15 damage is ridiculous. Which bloodies him, which means he is going to get to make an attack against you. Uh, well, hold on. I've got... 22 versus AC. Ooh, hold on. My what? mark, I'm rereading what it does. Alright, uh, so he's going to get a minus 2 to hit and he's going to take 5 divine damage. He's okay with that. At least I think that's what it does, right? Actually, it take, he takes 6 damage. 6? Alright. That one point is important, you know. So, Kriv is going to take 15 points of damage. I'll note that he's not inside Grumden's aura. Ha ha. And so, yeah, the bludgeoner will take 6 points of damage then. Okay. Anything else, Kriv? And I'm going to use my minor action to use Inspiring Word on Zenoran. Are you sure you don't just want to heal yourself at this point? I mean, you're way more important than Zenoran, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'll use it. It's okay. I, I can actually do damage next turn. <laughs> Thank you. So that's healing surge value plus 1d6 and plus 3 because I use Rousing Assault. So, do I have to lose a healing surge? Uh, hold on. Yeah, you use a healing okay. surge and get an extra 8 points of health. And a 1d6. Is it? I think that's what his roll was. Yeah, the 1d6 will be 8. Oh, okay, it's his roll. All right. 5 out of so yeah, your healing surge value plus eight. Oh, I forgot to have Zenoran do the saving throw. Oh well, you can take it. He lives! Zenoran now saved my ass so I don't die. <laughs> don't worry, I got this. Is that it, Kriv? Yep. Ah, the wolf shaman gets to go again. Fortunately, he's fresh out of wolves. Fortunately, he is not out of lightning strikes. So he is going to drop a bolt of lightning down on... Oh god, there's so many freaking targets. I guess it all comes down to how mean I want to be. You're the DM. You should be mean. Yeah, I could be pretty mean, huh? Shut up, Grand. Ah ha ha! Yeah, he's right. <laughs> I'd like to finish off Kriv. Hmm. Well, he's unhappy, but, well, is Norn still prone? I do I do play that like people are aware when people come back to consciousness because I assume you don't just like flicker your eyes peacefully. I, I I always imagine these combats like being revived from being near death, you probably like sit up with a bit of a start. But I think Zenorn's taken enough damage at this point. Um <clears throat> Alright, he will lightning strike Kriv. Don't worry, Kev. I'll heal you and not that stupid Zenorin. You never healed me anyway, Travok, so what are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. 24 I versus Reflex. That was my point. So the Shaman calls down a bolt of lightning from the otherwise very clear sky, 
which strikes Kriv for seven points of damage and splashes over to hit Chimeri for five. Although Chimeri is only going to take three because he's in the aura. He will then, let's see. I guess he'll tuck around the corner of the building so he's got cover now. Oh, the Severed Eye Leader's next, but I guess he doesn't get to go. Now, the Bludgeoner has to go, and I suppose he's going to hit Travok since he is marked. Twenty-one versus AC. Wow, you have a twenty AC. That's pretty sick. It does hit though, and because he's bloodied, he gets to do extra damage. Eighteen points of damage against Trabok. He just pounds you with the morning star. He'll then shift like so to go back to flanking. Doesn't he take damage? No, I mean if he no. attacks somebody else. In fact, he should have shifted first just to ensure that he landed, but... And now the Slasher's gonna go, and... He is gonna go back into the thick of things. I guess he'll attack Travok since he's bloodied. He seems... he smells blood, sees an opening. He'll just charge forward and attack. Actually, no, he won't charge because he wants to use his two scar step to hit two targets uh, and by hit I mean misses completely yeah. Zenorin, you are back up literally oh a deacon did you remember <laughs> on your action? No, I guess... never mind. I took ongoing damage, yeah. Yeah, I forgot you were so close to the beginning of the, the turn order. Okay, if I use my move action to stand up, will I take an opportunity attack? No. From the seventh so. ice guy? Okay, so I stand up. I'll double check here. No, And if fine. I shift one square, the... Orc Bludger will hit me, then Deacon will hit the Orc Bludger, right? No, he won't hit you. That would only be if you were, he was flanking you. You can yes. shift just fine. Okay. That's right. However, right. do note yeah, that you've okay. already used your move action. So, to shift, you'd have to use up your standard. Uh, and then, when you do attack, right. you have to no. use an action point. Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll use my minor action to activate my magic cloak. Good idea. And I use... My phantom cage again. 16 versus... what is it? Will? Yes, now you're doing this against the bludgeoner, so that will draw an attack of opportunity. Yes, that's right. Which will trigger an attack of opportunity, yep. but he's okay with that. Yep. Okay, okay. so that will use the bludgeoner. Um, yep, okay. and damage. The norm. The norm. do you know that if you get hit with an opportunity attack when casting a spell, the spell doesn't work. No, I did not know that. Is that true, Will? Um, uh, hold on. Interrupts takes place before. If the hits, like I'm not. I know that's what the concentration skill was for in 3.5. Yeah, but that I believe that system is very different now. I may be wrong, I may be missing well, something, but I was not aware cancel. of that. I don't know. I don't think it actually cancels it the like action. Get hit in the it seems like if you get hit in the face with an ace, with a mace, it's kind of hard to focus and cast a spell. Yeah, but that's 3.5, this is 4.0, shit's different. The thing is, we haven't been playing that way in general. I don't think that's actually the rule in 4, and we haven't been yep. using it, so it's sort of going to be fair for everyone. Um, so, okay. Let me apply the damage to the blood. There we go, 10 damage. Now, 
technically this will all happen in reverse order because he hits you, he's going to attack you first, but then Deacon's going to attack him first. So I guess Deacon, you go ahead and revol resolve yeah. your attack. Now if you hit, I'm going to be prone as well, right? Well, yep. Or is that... Okay, that's not just if I'm moving? Nope. He makes an attack and I get to smack him. 23 will hit. Oh, not much damage, but... How, what, what's the bit from your character that will cause him to be knocked down? Uh, I believe it's combat agility. Is that a feat? One second. Um... Where did I put it? One second. Alright, there's my combat challenge. He made a basic melee attack. And... Yeah, combat agility. And what is that? Where is that from? At will opportunity action. I'm not too sure. You suggested it and I took it when we made the character. Oh, but he gets to make his action first. It's, um... After he completes the action, I make the attack, so... Alright, okay, combat agility is when an enemy adjacent to you takes an takes an action that provokes an opportunity attack. He is not provoking an opportunity attack. You just get to do a free... Yeah, yes, because I have a marked. No, no, no. You, uh, the mark, uh, the attack that you do as part of a mark is not actually an opportunity attack. It's just a free basic melee attack. They're very careful not to word it as an opportunity attack because there's a lot of stuff that triggers on opportunity attacks and this is not one. Your combat challenge says... Whenever a marked enemy that is adjacent to you shifts or makes an attack that does not include you, you can make a melee basic attack against that enemy as an immediate interrupt. It works exactly the same as an opportunity attack, but it's not actually one, so that your combat agility will not apply. So you get to attack him, which you did, and you hit him for five points of damage, but he won't be prone. You can't use your combat agility. Aww. All right. Back scratch here. So... Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is um, once I used my uh, um, daily power, everything in a burst two is now like if they start or resume, if they move through it or start their turn there, they're slow. Just in case it might help, in case they try and run away. Okay, does that linger? Or is that until the end of turn or? Um, it's a sustained minor. It's until the end of the turn, but I can keep sustaining it with miners. Okay. Now, th was this this is on your la your previous turn, right? Your last turn that you just took. Yeah, last turn. So it's okay. Last, so you, after. you haven't needed to sustain it yet. Okay. Now the orc bludgeoner two is currently bloodied. Now the attack from Deacon was enough to bloody it. Um, so that means he's going to get to take his opportunity attack as bloodied, which means he's going to be doing extra damage to Zanorn. Thanks, Deacon. Zora's an Orin. No, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, I think I just got a bunch of, like, resists now, unless he does more than, like, seven damage. Oh, that's true, you did get, you got resist five to all, right? Yep, and the negative two damage from Gromden as well. I don't believe that's going to stack. I believe you use the highest resistance that you have. So in this case, it's going to be resist five. Ah, oh, damn it. Most things in fourth edition are like that, and I'm going to assume the resistance is oh, okay. Yep. And that's why 3.5 is better. Well, if they were the yeah, same type it. of bonus in 3.5, it wouldn't stack either. I know. 3.5 is still better, though. 14 points of damage. So I guess that means nothing. Are you kidding me? Yep. Exactly. Well, at least you're not dead. 
Also, I don't believe you're prone anymore, right? You did I stand up. Yeah, I wasn't prone, I did stand up. I thought you knew your math, Sherlock. Okay, and I... So I believe that resolves the very long attack sequence that Zenoran initiated here. Yes, that is right. Uh, so you've used your move, your minor, your standard. Is that it? Yep, that's it. I end my turn. Um, wait a second. No, I end my turn. <laughs> okay. I don't want to take another attack of opportunity. Yeah. So I take on going five. Yep. And I make the save against the stupid chains. Okay, you succeed, <laughs> but your save is actually at the end of your turn, so you're still currently immobilized. Okay, but that's fine. By the way, just um, so everyone knows, uh, if you spend an action point near me, you will regain three hit points. How near? Uh, ten squares. Wow, that's pretty near. Okay, go ahead and regain your th your three hit points, was it? Alright, I'm going to use Cleave against Bludgeoner 2, and if it hits, I deal four damage to Slasher 1. Is that it? Might be. Uh, yeah. So I do 11 damage to Bludgeoner 2, and 4 damage to Slasher 1. Okie dokie. Wow, Slasher 1's almost dead. And I keep my mark on, I guess, hmm, Bludgeoner 2. Yeah, I want to keep him off uh, as an Auron. Hmm. If I move here, will I take a opportunity attack? If you move where? Here. Uh, no, no, that's fine. No. Oh. So I'll move here. And uh... we're all clumped up for the wolf from Wolf Shaman again. Yeah, but Wolf Shaman is uh, hidden for the moment. Well, um, um, and yeah. I'm Chris said he was out of wolves, but I have the sneaking suspicion that he can use that again when he gets bloodied. Just like with the young keg. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna use Wall of Shielding on that uh, Seven Dot Bridgeoner 2. And I'll shield the Noran. Alright. Cool. Um, you want to heal Kriv? I reckon that might be a bit more useful. Um, I'll heal Kriv so I can take care of it. Although well, the bludgeoner... Well, no, I can still heal him anyway. Never mind. Well, unless the bludgeoner kills him outright, but... Yeah, fine. You go before the other bludgeoner anyways. Ah. God, these guys have a lot of hit points. Oh yeah, I was looking at the wrong Bosner on the initiative list, dude. Anything else, Grumden? How much nope. do I heal, sorry? Do I heal? Hmm. Grumden? Are you healing Zenoran? And if so, no, no, how no, much? No, no, um, no, 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 I told you I'm done with my turn. Oh, okay. Chimeri. You just have a temporary, uh, temporary hit point equal to, well, you have four temporary hit points. Okay. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. What's Chimera gonna do? Just mind thrust and Bludgeoner too, I guess. Okay. They're pretty easy to mind thrust. They have like no wiggle. Eight 
a 20 versus Will will indeed hit. Thirteen damage will be enough to kill him, but as he goes down, he's going to get to use his Savage Demise ability and make a melee basic attack, and he will target Zanorin. Deacon is free to take a shot, but it's not going to matter since he's already dying. Yeah, I'm not. Remember, he gets minus two because of the mark, though. Okay. Oh, uh, I think a twenty-eight is going to get anyway. That it matters. Phew. Almost a crit. 13 oh, damage. Well, I actually rolled a 1. Yeah. That's minimum damage. <laughs> okay, that's 8. 8. Okay, I take 4 damage. So I'm on 1 HP. No. Anything else? I think that's it for Kamari. He can't do much else. Trabok. Okay then. So, uh, what just happened to Quill? Ah, shit. Where did Quill go? Oh god, the map's like disintegrating itself. I grabbed the wrong <laughs> There's person. There's a hole in the matrix. I was trying to clean up the board from dead NPCs. Criff still looks like a monster to me. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I'll first heal Krov. How much? Um, healing surge plus three. And then I'm going to keep forgetting what my abilities are. Well, I could use my second win just because I'm a bit damaged and really more defensive, but yeah. I say just can you smack finish one of them off? Yeah, smack it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could finish off the slasher if I manage to hit though. Yeah, I'll just attack the slasher. Okay. With a uh, bolstering strike, so that's. And he's gonna take a swing at it, he's gonna die. Damn it! That's versus AC. Oh, wait, that, that was to hit! Oh. Miss. Well, that was to hit. Whatever. I'll just use my second wind, I guess, because why not? Really, I've got enough surges, it's fine. Okay. It is now the Wolf Shaman's turn again. I think it's actually Crib's turn. You took him out of the initiative. Yeah. Oh, I think it damn. should be mine. So shall I go? Please. You gonna be a boss and heal me again? Uh, just to check. Uh, can I? change my standard action into a minor action? Yes. Alright, so I'm going to use a minor action to use Dragon Breath in a three burst, so that would be both the orcs 
I think. Okay, yeah. You will get a minus two to your roll doing it from prone. Roll your second hit. Okay, so you're going to miss the Orc Slasher, but you will hit the Bludgeoner. Three damage. And I'm going to use my standard action as a minor action and use Inspiring Word on Zenoran. And he gets Healing Surge plus two health. Nice. <laughs> Is that it for your turn, Griff? Uh, well, I'm going to stand up, I guess. That's it. Yeah, I think that's his turn. All right, Yay. now the orc shaman's gonna go. It's nice of you to stand up. Actually, it makes it a lot easier for him to lightning bolt you. Ah, uh, maybe I should do a roll just to see who you hits. I suppose, strictly speaking. Rolls. Wouldn't uh, Kriv and Chimeri get a cover bonus? Yeah, I was just about to say, him? strictly speaking, I suppose he would get some cover, so he's going to target someone who's more visible. So Deacon, Grumden, or Zanorin. Hmm. Hmm. I guess maybe I should just roll. Nah, he should really go for someone who's already hurt. Makes a lot more sense. All right, 50-50 between Zanorin and Deacon. Doesn't he see me in all my shining armor with like we're just oh uh oh Damn it. I had all well, the shining with this. So. Deacon's oh, well. all in metal, so he figures it'll conduct more. Twenty three versus reflex. Miss. No, it's a hit. Actually, Oh, yeah, if I'd been thinking about it, it would have been way better to hit Zenora. Because Deacon takes 9, and then... It would have hit Kimari. Yeah. But in this yeah. case, it'll just do 5 points of damage to Trabok. Although both you guys take minus 2. And... Yeah, minus 2. Alright, the Bludgeoner... Whatever's wow. left of him is going to go next. He is still marked by Travox, so I suppose he'll just attack him. Uh, 27 versus AC. 